When reports emerged this week that the Saudi Arabia ruling family, the Salman family, were interested in buying Manchester United, eyebrows are raised. First of all, it came from the Daily Star. How much can you trust the Daily Star? Not that much. Second of all, it's oil money. And with everything that's gone on at Manchester City, United fans have grown to hate oil money. But since then, it's been picked up by Sky Sports, by The Telegraph, by the Manchester Evening News, lots of other reputable outlets. So there's too much going on to ignore it now. So what I want to do in this video is run through the whole story. Who are the Salman family of Saudi Arabia? Why would they want to buy Manchester United? Is there any chance the Glazers would actually sell Manchester United if the right offer came in? What this video is designed to do is to help you understand all of that so let's get straight into it. Now the report suggests that the Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman from Saudi Arabia's ruling family is interested in buying a European club to help broaden the economy of Saudi Arabia as well as the image of Saudi Arabia in the West. And you've only got to look at what's gone on with Qatar and PSG and Abu Dhabi and Manchester City as two examples of Middle Eastern countries investing in European clubs to broaden their own image. And it's certainly worked with Man City and it certainly worked with PSG. Could Saudi Arabia do the same thing with Manchester United? That is what is being suggested. Now something that's helped fuel the fire is the fact that Avram Glazer, who's a co-chairman of United, is on the board and one of the Glazer's sons, Malcolm Glazer, who took over the club back in 2005. He's actually going to Riyadh in Saudi Arabia next week for like a, a global investment meeting. Now the reason that is interesting is of course, he could then meet up with Mohammed bin Salman and discuss any potential sale of Manchester United. So because that is happening next week, it's given more credence to these reports and rumours that have emerged this week. Now, United do have links with Saudi Arabia. It was only 12 months ago that we signed a deal with Saudi Arabia's General Sports Authority. Now, this was part of the Saudi Vision 2030, which I'll get into later on in the video, but this is the main push of Saudi Arabia trying to establish itself as one of the world's leading powers. It's their way of broadening their economy, just broadening everything that they're doing. And Manchester United signed a deal 12 months ago with the General Sports Authority to help with sports inside Saudi Arabia. Now, not only that, but one of our long-standing commercial partners is a Saudi telecom business that was signed back in 2008, so a decade ago. And we've been with them ever since. And back in 2008, in the same year that we did sign that deal, Manchester United actually went and did a testimonial in January 2008 over in Saudi Arabia after being paid, I think, roughly about a million pounds to go over there. And that's, we took Tevez, Ronaldo, Rooney. That was our 2008 double winning team. So we have got links with Saudi Arabia. Now, more importantly than all of that, what are the current finances of Manchester United? And is there any chance that the Glazers would actually sell? If you look at Manchester United's revenues last year, 590 million revenue, record revenues for the club. You look at what they're expecting next year, they're expecting 600 million plus revenues, more records for the club. Now, Manchester United currently have debts roughly just under 500 million pounds thanks to the Glazers buying the club on a leveraged deal. That was after the Glazers bought the club for roughly 800 million pounds back in 2005 on that leveraged deal because they didn't have all the money for the club but because of their other assets in America like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think they own, they were allowed to borrow the money from the bank. But instead of paying the interest themselves, Manchester United have paid the interest. And over a billion has left the club in interest repayments, not from the Glazers' pocket, but from Manchester United's pocket. Now, the reports suggest that if the Glazers were to sell, that a price in the region of four billion pounds would be what they want. And the current market value of United is three billion, second most valuable sports team in the world behind Dallas Cowboys. Would the Glazers be interested in that? What businessman wouldn't be interested in an asset that they bought for 800 million to then sell roughly less than 15 years later for 4 billion? That's a hell of a profit on something that they've never had to pay. It's basically a loan they took out. And all of a sudden it's worth 3 billion more 15 years later. Of course that would interest the Glazers. They are money men. And that is the reason why I think all these reports and rumors have credence and why we can't just ignore them. Now another major question is could the Salman family afford that if Manchester United was worth four billion pounds? Could they afford it? Jesus. Their roughly estimated value is 850 billion pounds. 
So if, if they did buy Manchester United for 4 billion, it would represent less than 0.5% of their current worth as a family. Mind-boggling numbers. You know, the Salman family famously, I think it was Mohammed bin Salman himself, bought a house for 300 million, one of the most expensive houses in the world. Uh, bought a painting for 450 million as well. So 4 billion is a drop in the ocean for, as I said, the second most valuable sports brand in the world, especially tying in to the Saudi Vision 2030. Now, the Salman family buying Manchester United wouldn't specifically have too much to do with the fact that we're a profitable business, although that does help. It all ties in to that Saudi Vision 2030. Now, as I said earlier in the video, this is Mohammed bin Salman's vision to help Saudi Arabia establish itself as one of the leading powers around the world by broadening its economy, by broadening its beliefs, by broadening its absolutely everything from sports and tourism through to whatever you want it to be. That's what Saudi Arabia is trying to do at the moment. And if you look at Saudi Arabia's economy itself, it's heavily dependent on oil. Their money is oil money. And if you look at the 2014 price of crude oil, when it crashed down, it forced the Salman family to rethink what do we want our money to be based on. Now, oil is still going to be always going to be oil, but broadening it with something like Manchester United helps the image of Saudi Arabia in the West, helps broaden the economy, helps bring other influences into the Saudi Arabia economy. So it ticks a lot of boxes in that regard. It's it's not a place that they're going to buy like the Glazers where they're just strictly trying to make a little bit of money here or there out of it. It's part of a much wider plan to make Saudi Arabia one of the leading powers in the world. Now, at this time, Manchester United have remained very, very quiet on all of these rumours. They haven't denied them. They haven't said anything's going on whatsoever. They stayed completely quiet. And that's not too much of a surprise. But for United fans, at this moment, you have to understand two things. The first thing, the Salman family are serious about this Saudi vision 2030. It's something they're massively pushing in everything they're doing. And buying a European club is a proven way, as Abu Dhabi have shown with Manchester City and Qatar have shown with PSG, in that buying a European club can help the outward looking image of the country you're trying to establish as a world power. Two proven examples. So in that sense, that's a main reason why they will be pushing for it. And the second thing to understand is while at this stage, the Glazers probably have absolutely no intention of selling Manchester United. Representing a three billion pound profit on an 800 million pounds investment, that's something they cannot ignore as businessmen because money talks to these people. And this is absolutely something they would consider. Surely, three billion pounds profit. Mind boggling figures. But I hope this video helped you understand why the Salman family would be interested in buying Manchester United, why the Glazers would certainly be interested in selling for that much profit, and looking into the reports in a little bit more detail. If, you, if it did help you, please drop a like on the video, and if you're new, subscribe, because there'll be plenty more content like this. Take it easy.